Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? Oh, so we're back with Hogwarts Legacy. Sorry, I'm talking and the dogs I'm looking after are looking at me like I'm a right idiot, which is true. So, we're back. I'm trying to find a place that sells... Um, the stuff from creatures. Because uh, I need to get some to upgrade my gear. But this shop's a potion shop. I'm trying to remember where on earth the other shops are. Because they don't show up on the map, which is really annoying. You'd think if you'd hover over it, it'd be like, oh, there's shops here, but no, it just tells you what was collected. Just do a collection chest I've got here, though. So, I... Yesterday, um, when we wrapped up, I was stuck in a cave because a pile of bones had disappeared off the table. Uh, I saved the game, reloaded it, and they turned up. Put that on there. Um, we found... Where is it? Nope, not that one. Not that one. Where is... No. Oh, that's how we work out the math doors. I wonder if Sebastian's got them. So there was a note, there's a, like a pyramid thing. It's got skulls and stuff on all the corners. And apparently you need to do something really, really bad. I'm guessing murder someone to be able to like reverse the magic. Um, yeah, this is the stuff I'm looking for off the traders as well. Like the hairs, the feathers, things like that. Because I need Theron's. Theron's hair or something like that. But um, pretty much that, we get out. Um, Ominous discovered us. It was a massive argument. And we were like, look, let him take it. But that's it. You know, he's took it, he's got it, it's fine. Which you know is going to lead to more BS. Um, but it is what it is. I'm trying to figure out what this puzzle is here. I seem to have already activated it. Rebellious. Oh, a bowl. This boulder that's going to go in there. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Uh, do have a look around. Hello again, Mr. Thistlewood. Oh, it's you. Never attend. Now. What do you have for sale? Now, how can I help? Oh, is that all you've got, bud? Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. All right, we need to get up to this boulder, which is up there. Can we climb this wall? No. Uh, of course. Probably an easier way up there, but... There's an astrolabe there, too. Rebellion. Does this flipping... Oh, the ball stuck. Bombarder. Rebellion. Compulsor. Compulsor. There we go. Now it's got the momentum. One in there. In, in the hole. Not so tricky after there we go. Then. Need another seven done to increase the inventory space for armor and gear, that type of stuff. I've been trying to do more for the. Oh, what's it called? No, it wouldn't be collection, it'd be challenges, wouldn't it? Uh, combat. Oh. Nice. 
Not that one. Movie exploration? Oh yeah, I need to do more balloons to be able to get these appearances. Landing pads. Right, so Merlin Trials. Seven more to be able to get an extra four slots in the bag for gear. Can't remember how much this one was. This one's 14. And then I'm guessing this one will be the rest of whatever's left. Oh, here. Here we go. So, this adds an extra bar. So, if I get... Oh, two more. We get that done today. And then, so, this is four out of six. How much is this one going to be? Oh, and this gets you the, the Seeker gear, the Quidditch gear. Okay. So there's a, I can only have five of these bars in total. Two more astrolabes and then that's done. Okay. That's there. Where was that astrolabe? I've got music going as well. Conan, all right. I said, how are you doing, bud? Uh, Conan will be Thursday, uh, Wednesday and Friday, sorry. An astronomy table. It should prove useful. How are you doing, bud? Knowing the meat he's likely studied here. I don't know what I'm doing next on Conan. We managed to get two bosses done for one. I have to swap my music. Why is three and four the same? Oh, I've messed my spells up. That's. Confringo, I've got Bombarda there. Put it every day. I think I lied to you the other day. It looks like you can make display dummy for armor sets in vanilla. Ooh, okay. Hey, Badger, how you doing, dude? So I've got music going and I'm, I'm just loving it. I can't interact with this. There we go. I'm tired but alive. Ta-da! How the fuck does that make a bird? How? <laughs> so you can make dummies and stuff, huh? Because he's a G. Because cookies are good. <laughs> Alright. Oh. And he still need the map. Oh, that's also what happened after the quest. But then we got back to the town, and it was all kicking off. I'm able to look my name. Hello. There's goblins there and some well. bitch. What can but I help you with? So. What do you have for sale? Looks like they added it during Chapter Three of the Age of Sorcery. What can I help you with today? Where's your inventory board? Where? <sighs> I don't know how long it takes for their stocks to refresh. The story's pretty good. Um, typical, I mean, there's a guy called Sebastian. I'm not keen on him. His sister is cursed. Like, she's got a really dark curse on her. 
and he wants to undo it so he can have his sister back. Uh, there used to be three of them that hang on the crown. There's Sebastian, his sister Anne, and Ominous. Ominous is against dark magic because his family used to use it and forced him to use it when he was a kid. And now he's heavily against it. Ironically, a Slytherin. Sebastian's a Slytherin. And he wants to get rid of the dark magic. And thanks to Sebastian, I've now learned Crucio and... Imperio. I don't really use Imperio. I normally just blast them apart because then I'm normally when I've used well, a few times I have used it, I'll use it and it takes ages after everything's dead for them to become unaffected. So you just blitz them, but it is quite handy. Um, especially when there's trolls, you just like zap your mine. But I wish there was another slot, a fifth one of these, because I mean, you've got seven rows of them here, and it's just like, come on, well. Six is a bit, I should say. Map. We need to go talk to Poppe. Because Taka's inventory hasn't refreshed. She's at the school. No, it's... Leave it to Slither to be evil. Well, everyone... Right, so, from what I've learned so far, uh, the Slytherin found... Well, the founder who made the Slytherin Club, because obviously there was four of them for each one, uh, can I tell you their names? Can I? I can Godric Gryffindor, I know that one. But, um, Weneva, Hufflepuff, something, I can't remember where really, but anyway. So he was saying and trying to tell people, look, the dark arts and whatever, because back then they weren't forbidden. Salazar Slytherin, that's the one. Uh, back then, the forbidden curses weren't forbidden. But they were only to be used on, like, the scum of the earth. Like, instead of jailing them, you know. And he was like, try to teach the kids, don't be scared of it. Because if you say it's forbidden, it gets this, like, stigma. And this uh, reputation that just gets bigger and bigger, even though it's kind of not. I mean, it's magic that's really dangerous. But magic in general and in innate form is dangerous. Like... As we will learn in Bombarda, she says, remember to be exact with your movements, otherwise you'll blow your hand off. So, Horcruxes, yeah. But the one thing that gets me with the Horcruxes with um, Voldemort is he was, cha he was choosing, like, really important lore items like, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just go and get, like, a bunch of pebbles, do it, and then just yeet them into the sea? No one's going to find them. No one can do anything about it. But, you know, apparently that's too feckin' powerful. So it's like, why did they always make villains think like idiots? But it's always because the good guys win, I know. But it would be nice to see a bad guy win for once. Because usually when something happens for the first time like that, it puts a new spin into a genre. I don't know. No, v Voldemort was a really bad villain. He was he was nothing. I mean, Dumbledore wouldn't have. Like, if Voldemort just picked up a bunch of pebbles, did the Horcruxes and whatnot, like, he killed people from, like, a million miles away, he could have just done that and no one would have known. Like, he... No one would have known. And the only reason Dumbledore died, he was dying anyway, because he was cursed. But they had to make it so um Alan Rickman's character, Snape, killed him. Yes. Even though he knew it was a Horcrux, he still put it on because he's a dumbass. Not like they could have just taken it to the goblins and getting it freaking sorted, but no. Uh, she's in the school and she's over here. So my best bet is to go on that one, then that one. But um, I mean, the thing is, everyone's like, "Oh, Dumbledore's amazing." No, he's not. He was a mass murdering psycho. 
He killed members of his family to do everything to get the elder one. He's a freaking prick. I mean, if you can kill your own kin just to get power, like, what kind of person are you? And yet everyone idolized him. Oh, he's a super powerful wizard. No, he's not. It was the wand. Always had been. For example, when they're in the uh, cave, where Harry has to make him drink the stuff and he does the big fire thing, he only did that because of the wand. Oh, good, you're safe. Yeah, Harry, well, he got the cloak in the first one. He gets the resurrection stone, and then he gets the feckin' elder wand. And what does he do? He just snaps it. It's like, you could have changed everything. Like, he could have set everything straight. No one could do anything. He's got the Resurrection Stone. No one could see him. He's got the cloak. He had all three Deathly Hallows. He just fucking snaps it and yeets the stone. Like, what the... F it's not cursed. It just has a stigma like everyone wants it. So you've always got like a big target on your head. You're in such a state but if you've got all three of the Deathly Hallows, you kind of can't be touched. But at the same time, you can't exactly call out living. What do you mean? Because that doesn't really make sense. Because people are always attracted. Yeah. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all. But, uh, I don't think either one of yeah. us could have anticipated But the thing is, that. like, she Harry Potter there. is. I underestimated the poachers. And now so borderline, like, danger. based from the Lord of the Rings, which is, uh, so J.K. Rowling actually admitted to, that once you know that, you start putting bits together from it, each scene. Of the Snidget, long so weird. Extinct. And Star Wars. He fixed his one with it, though. He broke it and was like, yeah, yeah. But once it's broke, that's it. Like, even if you had the two bits, you can't do anything because you've snapped the core. So that's what gets me as well. It's like, oh, it had um, such and such and such and such of a core. You know, this really strong, intense property. And it's just like, snap. Oh, look at that. Whoops. <laughs> I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. But yeah, Harry, Ron, and Hermione could have set the world straight right there. They could have put everything to right. If they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. And then it would have taken, I don't know, a couple of eras, and then it would have been, you know, back to the same, but you know. Merlin Beard, you're genius. The centaurs. They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the Centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. We're going to go talk to the Centaurs. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Okay, so you're going to let me know when we've got a plan. Not a problem. Poacher's house call. So what have we got next? I think we've got to go talk to Sebastian and the Undercroft. He's all mad and whatnot. Because we're able to talk to freaking Ominous and set shit straight. And he's like, oh, but he's been my best friend for like 20 years. Yeah. Oh, bitch. You know that Harry was related to Tom Riddle? I didn't. How is he related? Like, how? Wh where's the link? And I'm all retired. But the way you play your game is bad. You know, I've never heard of this band. It's a band that, um... They do covers. Well, there was a, a group that did it. And it co goes punk goes pop. And they do this, uh, the few song. And it's a band called Sleep With Sirens. And they do a really good cover of it. Quite cool. The Potters and the Blacks. The Blacks are related to Slytherin. And then via Slytherin, Tom Riddle. Yeah, but is that blood related? Because, like, I know the Blacks and the Potters. 
guess, because uh, Sirius Black was... So it's is Sirius Black on his mother's side or his father's side? It's been a very long time since I read the books. The mother's side. Okay. Huh. So technically he's a quarter, he's a quarter Slytherin, hence the whole... So the parcel mouth thing would have just worked from that, but obviously he got it more from the... You know, the zab zap. I should have seen it. It was protected by an older, more ancient magic. Love. Uh. Ah, okie dokie. The parcel tongue, yeah. Uh, uh, Undercroft. <laughs> it's not only a descendant, but like 99.999% of the time it would be. There is a chance for someone just to have the ability, but it's like, it's like itty bitty tiny. He wasn't directly related to Tom. Yeah. Uh, we need to go to... Why hasn't it tracked the quest? Oh. oh. We need to do a proper law podcast. I think it's already been done, bud. <laughs> we are way behind on that. Would be interesting, though. Get a bunch of notes and researches and all that shit. Just be like, yo. I'd love to live in this kind of world. It'd be awesome. But at the end of the day, every world's got its dangers. I mean, say we can't even have flipping civilized shit in our world. Never mind it. You're using magic. Star Wars, uh Nah, I'm good. People love that kind of shit. Not me. I'm not a fan of it. Nothing against it, just don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. If you have an army of a hundred thousand clones, why on God's green earth did they clone someone who can't in shoot? Like God damn had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to they shoot like 600 bullets and they don't even come close. It's like give up on Anne. that far away. <laughs> he also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any A Star Trek minus the Borg. If he hears of yeah. of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Well, uh, that that relic, magic and dark is the key saving Anne. To reverse that curse, I will not lose out for good. Okay, so he's put his he's put his foot down. I should send the crest to Anne. Just send the crest she'll to Anne. She'll know what we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. I'm afraid I don't Nothing, follow. Just Nothing, just a thought. Just thought. Now I'm more oh, determined oh, than oh, ever oh, to learn oh, what power oh, that oh, relic has. I shall wait to hear from you though. Or getting blocked by lightsabers, how annoying. <laughs> yeah, the one time the bullet's going in the right place, like there's been a billion shots fired, the one that's coming within a couple of meters of this person. Doing <laughs> like work on your aim, boy. 
Right, so we've talked to everyone that we can so far. So now we've got to do this gobbledygook quest. So we've got to speak with Amit. What, Amit? Oh, because Amit speaks the language. Got you. Got you. I'm like, what the? Sorry, I just realized I'm tapping on the desk and the microphone is like, Ugh! Get the way, bitch. That's the big one. We don't need the big one. That wasn't the big one. It was the little one. There it is. What's the matter, Mr. Diablo? What's the matter? And Paco. One doggy. Ugh, two doggies. Alright. Big man. Mm -hmm. Everyone, this is Diablo. <laughs> a big softy. He was aptly named when he was a pup. But now he's the biggest softy going. And yeah, you little crybaby. And this little one is his brother, this tiny little bugger, and that's Packer. Big softies, the parry. Right, we're nearly at the picture. Let's get there, guys. You sit down and behave. I don't know where Lily's gone. Just become a bit comfy. Do you guys keep pestering her? You bloody do. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> They're literally laying, lying on each other. Give you an awkward stream. What? That's a microphone. Can you stop pushing it, please? Honestly. Yeah, we got Duggars. Also, the partners of the most powerful family in the wizarding world. Hey Paco, you can't be, you're getting laid on. You can't be comfy. Get your foot, there we go. I see you little man. I see you Diablo, stop shaking. These aren't my dogs, these are my neighbour's dogs, we're just dog sitting. This little one, he's a Chihuahua Jack mix, Jack Russell mix, but he's more Chihuahua than anything, he's tiny. He's so tiny. You're gonna go play. You're gonna go find Lily. Okay, you go find Lily. Be a good boy. Go play. And then, ugh, this chunky monkey is Diablo. He's a Jack Chow mix, but he's more Jack. Now, apparently, this one. I love Big Lad. Stop licking. Apparently, this one and the one that you just saw before, which is Paco, they're apparently from the same litter. Not a in chance. Diablo here is the same size as where Lily. Paco is fairly bigger than my hand. So, but yeah, they're both Chihuahua Jack mixes. And yeah, this one got more Jack in him. He's a lot bigger. He's also a l It's called Diablo. But last 
Yeah, like we're looking after them because my neighbours went on holiday. Last year, uh, they were put into kennels, like a, a family-owned kennel thing where they look after your animals for a little while while you're not here. He came back from it, and he just was never the same. He's completely scared of everything now. Uh, I take him for a walk, a leaf moves, and he tries to run away. Um, he's crying now because my mum's not here, who he's really bonded with. She's at work. He likes to cry a lot. You gotta keep reassuring him. But nah, he big softy. You're a handsome man that no kisses, no kisses. I know, I know. You love me. You're a big softy. But yeah, he's he's the biggest softy going. Isn't you? You gonna go play with your brother? Yeah. He's missing you now because he's trying to climb up the leg. Come on, big man. Go play. There you go, Paco. There's your brother. Good boys. <laughs> oh, and now the cat's decided to show up. What's my Rafiki? What? You've got food, you've got water. The back door's open if you need out. Hell, even the cat's coming here. What's my Rafiki? He's called Rafiki like the monkey of Lion King. Come here, little shitbag. Not you. Fiki. Hey, Fix. Fix. I got you. And now this one is Rafiki. You big sausage, didn't you? Yes, you are. Come on, then. Put your claw. Good boy. You big soft monkey, didn't you? He's after more dreamies, but he's just had some. Didn't you? What you after, mate? Come on. Ah, 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 ah. No climbing. It's just sneaky. So, yeah. House has turned into a petting zoo. Right. Hey, Paco. Don't you chase him. I have to bash your bum. I have to beat, I'll have to beat you up. Yeah, you keep the munchkin coming. Gotcha. But yeah, this one, he thinks he's the boss. Of course, he's the smallest dog. Here's my cute little man. Yes, you are. <laughs> Hello. You're going to have to fall asleep here, huh? You're not going to let me play my game, huh? So Harry is directly related to the Pever Peveril family. Stop kissing. Stop kissing. Peveril. That family name rings a bell, but I can't link it to anything. Sorry. Ugh. Okay, okay, here's your brother. Come out. Big wuss. I knew that part of the law. Everall. Why is that ringing a bell? No need for it. No need to be fighting. Okay. They are the three brothers that tricked... Oh, the ones... Yes! The ones who got the Horcruxes. Uh, the Deathly Hallows instrument. Hello there. Hello, all meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. Yeah, not the Horcruxes, yeah. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Get away from my feet, you weird dog. Exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps. Would you I get off my foot, you good little good sausage? Hear. Good to hear. It I get weird, just licking my toe through my sock. What you know? 
The hollows. Won't ask for a wand. Yeah, what? Won't ask to bring his wife back from the dead. He's got the resurrection stone. Won't ask to be able to have an invisib invisibility cloak. That way he hid from death and then passed it to his son and then let death take him. And one has to be the most powerful sorcerer and he got the wand. Something like that. Uh, Lord Gork is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Okay, we'll meet you there. A bit. Sorry, I'll just start freaking turning the music off. Can't hear a damn thing. When I've got music playing normally, it's that one's music, that one's gameplay, but for some reason it just completely muted the gameplay for then. Yeah, um, the guy who tried to resurrect his dead beloved uh, saw what she was, killed her, then killed himself. The guy who wanted to be most powerful ended up getting hunted down and killed for his wand. And then, yeah, the guy who had the cloak basically passed the cloak to his son and then let death take him. Some shit like that, anyway. Are you pushing? Frick. Looks like they get the best weapon and then it gets murked. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like you say, if someone's like, oh, he's got the strongest wand in the game, uh, in the world, even. Sorry, it's just like, yo, we need to get that. And it's like, oh, okay, fair play. But like, how are you going to get it? Oh, we'll just murder him. Okay, so that makes you just twice as much, twice as much a dickhead. What but what's even worse is the fact that the wand doesn't properly pair with someone. Like, my wand right now, it knows what I'll cast. It knows what I'll do. It's like, it's got a synergy or some shit like that. But the Horcrux one doesn't. Why am I walking everywhere? I could just teleport. That's the equivalent of getting all the best stuff in the Final Fantasy and not saving, <laughs> saving and running a one shot monster. Yep. Or someone just deleting your save, one of the two. But yes, that's a bit of lore from Final Fantasy. Uh, from Harry Potter and Doggos. The little sausages, though. They really are. It's weird because Paco, which is the smaller one, when you take him for a. I can't say the word. Um, he likes to pull and drag. Such a little douche. And the one dances to that person. Well, the elder one has a master based on whoever kills the armor or just telling them. Yeah, but like. Think of it this way. You have a cupcake, you willingly give it to me, that cupcake's now mine, right? But, because I didn't punch you in the face and forcibly take it, I can't bite that cupcake. Does that make sense? Not really. It's a really weird twist. I think it was a twist that they had to put on it because it was the only way they could think of to end what they'd done. Yeah, bro, stop praying. Lie down on the bed. Stay comfy. There's a pig double bed right there with blankets and pillows and everything. Go lie down. Pablo. It's okay. Because his mom's on holiday and the my mom's going to work. He's a little crybaby. Uh, you can still use it, but it's not, not at full power. I mean, it. I don't really think it amplifies your power at all. Honestly. Maybe a little bit, but like... The fact that the one doesn't actually... Um, what's the word? Connect and bind to one person makes it really, really strange because it's like every other wand in the world does. The only reason this one's so special is because it's from a one of the Deathly Hallows. Okay, so by that regard, if death can make a wand, then an angel can, right? Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. What about the angels mentioned in the stories? Did they make any powerful gear? Is there any bits and pieces that could be left around that people could find? Rebellion. Okay, I've got to get that to where... Diablo, lie down. Get 
I'm not gonna get this for example. Death is not an angel. Death is the f is the manifestation of Oh god, you make me rack my brain now. Right. So everyone has a conception that death is a living person. It's not. It is the literal manifestation of decay and putrid blech, put into form. Everyone's got the thing saying it's a fallen angel, Michael. Nope. Not that at all. But if you go through, I mean, I suppose every mythology has its own variant and adaptation of every creature, I suppose. So technically it could be a fucking pile of shit on the floor with everything that's going on. I can pull in. Where's the... There's got to be... Right, there's a ball over there, right? For the Merlin trial, it has to go in a pod in the ditch thing in the floor. Um, in Greek mythology, death, aka Thanatos, Thanat, I can't even say his name. He was a broken angel, Rebellion. which is a really weird thing. The broken angel can only be, well, an angel can only be broken by death's embrace. is the only broken angel in that mythology. Freaking wild. Where's this gotta go? It can't be far, right? It, like... There. Um... Mizrael... Is it Mizrael? No, Mesreal's the goddess, uh, the goddess of uh, preservation. Damn it, I can't remember the name. God damn it, Badger, you got me in mythology mode in my head, and then you're fucking dipping, you shit. <laughs> no bother, bud. Don't worry about stopping in mate, later, mate. Just look after your ma. And hope all goes well. Podcast! <laughs> I mean, we could try it. We'll have to figure out the time and whatnot, but... Eggs. 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 Yoink. Funny way trying to breed creatures and there's me just stealing them. Aren't Ashwinders what the enemies are called? Saturday? Uh, I don't know if I've got anything going on Saturday, so I could double check. I don't believe I've got anything going on. Rebellion. Where is that second? There it is. God damn it. Oh, you are kidding me! Get that ball back down here, you son of a bitch. Ah, I see where they want me to... Okay. We can have a chat and talk about if you've got time. Yeah, I'll see. I don't believe I've got anything going on. But I will double check and get back to you. Repulso. No, Repulso, even. Yeet. So, could you imagine how far you could yeet a can with this? Big boosh. Sounds good. Later. Peace out, bud. Do, do, do. Oh, apparently touching it made it stop. Barely even bumped into it. Oh, 
Sara. What's funny as well, in a lot of tales, everyone's like, Merlin's the best and strongest wizard there was. Oop, not even close. Yep, that one's around me. And what do we got here then? Oh, we got a cave. Oh, we've already been in here. Lame. This cave's stupid. I wonder what max level is. That's 35, right? So... We're going to be getting close. The story seems to be like building up, building up, building up. So, a friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Of course. Oh. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Urtzbot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Uh oh. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his bastard journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. That would be nice. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. Cool, cool. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What that's, do you mean, repository? That's probably what Large, these magically fortified receptacles crafted yeah. from goblin metal. That's what they were looking for. Recruited others to help me locate the that's what they were looking for. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names this mentioned. Freaking in camera, and it's goddamn Rackham, auto focus. Right, look, if I lean Carr, this way, and no, that way, good castle. That is where Shifts me over. It's like, look, my hands are here. So much about these repositories. <laughs> he cares about what they contain. For centuries, uh. wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, uh, well, yes. <laughs> Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Ah. Right, okay, this is going to be a stealth mission. I'll meet and the I can do door this. that's got a... Your return. An enchanted I eye above the door. Soon. Yes, of course. 
Damn right you're going invisible, dude. Better be good with magic, but better than that freaking gobbledygook. Oh, man. My sinuses, man, I swear. Is it weird to feel itchy sinuses? Is that, is that normal? Ah, that's the enchanted mind. That. The door is looking at us. Huh? Huh? What's happening? What's happening? Yeah. Like the chests. Okay. Rarely prepare one for reality. Yo, this Real looks gorgeous. Home. It's even grander than I had expected. Look at this. That's beautiful. Rafiki, what are you crying for? You've been fed, mate. I literally fed you before I started I streaming. I believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. What? Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Incendio. Violet push the gates open. Another one. And a little man. Man. Looks like they're gonna waste away, are you? We fed like 20 minutes ago. Well, how long have I been? We fed over an hour ago. Okay? Had your food, just stop crying. You little sus. Right, so that's powered. Oh, thankfully it wasn't timed. And he's in. Okay. So. I'm quite good at sneaking about. You'll see. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. You're gonna have to get used to it, mate. Okay, now that's pushing the fluid that way. Are going to reach that door? Yes. Ooh, there's loot in there. What am I characters focused on? It said there was loot in it, then it doesn't let me loot it. What the fuck? I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. You'll need to stay close to me. I've dealt with worse enemies than these. Said thing, game stuff. Ranrock is sure to appreciate the extra work we're doing. Watch your step round here. Where are those plans gone? I had schematics in my hand a moment ago. Yeah, of course you do. Ranrock is sure to appreciate the extra work we're doing. Someone there? Matter of time till Ranrock sets things right. God damn it, every fucking time. Go 
but he even says it with venom. Prince Joe. Damn it! Get off. Yeah, well. Hmm. Okay, let's go see where these pipes lead. Oh! I didn't even notice the door. Get through as long as we can be seen by that eye. Oh shit, Sherlock! Didn't even, I completely didn't even see that that door was there. A Celtic crest on this point. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. <laughs> Silly. Let's take a look around, Arnit. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. Yeah, bound to be shinies here too. working for me Hello? what why did you i pushed e oh thank you How does interacting and pushing E? That's what you work that way. Rebellion. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? How did that take me through a wall? They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Rebellion. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty headed. Did he just say empty headed? Ah, okay, we've come back. Akio. Oh, do I have to keep that? No, it's staying there. Okay. What to the machine? Or is it going? Where's that stuff going? I'm all sorts of confused. What was the point in that lever? Rebellion. All over there, that's tough. Hmm. How do I get to that chest? Oh, it opens this crate. And then here's the chest. Okay. Ooh, I identified the next thing. 
Alright. Boost. Stop it, Paco. Go lie down, bud. Give me no sight again. Yeah. Rain. Hold up. I know. I know. But you're safe. But I'm trying to scream for the people. So they can laugh at me. I mean, I give, guess you give the key factor. Yeah? Give the little key factor. So what can I do for you, you little sausage? He just looks to lick on my nose. Oh, you can't bless you. I don't know. Got food down. I got the bowl. You, you, you look so, so big, you. Gonna be okay now? You're gonna be, you're gonna be good? Settled. Come on. Go find your brother. Ah, oh, he's as bad as Diablo. All right. Uh, what am I looking for in this kitchen? Then? Rebellion. Actually, we've got any food. Oh boy, I want some snack. That goblin's still locked onto me for some reason. This the room that we came in through, yes. So it's that way we need to go. Gotcha. Got distracted with a cute little doggo. Right. Don't wish to be if I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Probably some dwarven steel dragon or something, no one will look. Better not be right. Oh no, them large things that we were visiting and seeing before, they were the colours that they were just put on the dragon. Now they're building something big. How am I going to go about this? How am I supposed to get to him? Ledge. I'm famished. Who's there? That is something very fun. How about that out, old boy? Slam a leaping loyalist into the floor. He's a commander. He's an assassin.
Now, E, you dumbass. Why didn't that work? Note here. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Okay, so they're going to build it somewhere else. Oh, one sec. Come up the door. Right. Sorry, I'd taken in a parcel for my neighbour and the and the neighbour came back. Right. Oh. So he needs pressure first, then that's open there. And then upstairs there's a different path. Okay, so that's the way we're meant to go. I'm gonna go upstairs and loot all the stuffs. Oh, wow, so much stuffs. There's another Wigan World Portion playing. Hello. Sometimes just blasting at things help. Base item, huh? Another legendary. Taxidermy wall hanging. Swap that phone. Why couldn't they just open the door and walk back out of it? But apparently not. Right, there we go. Oh, that's the potion. Anything up here? A bunch of goodies to collect out there. There's a bunch of stuff we've missed, apparently. Get through there. Oh well. Look. 
Summon airborne enemy with concern and the blow up a loyalist sentinel was bombarded while they charged their mag. That's the one that's gonna be a bitch. Um Revenue. How do I get to that one? Your wizard will be spared. How many of them are there? That should be the last of them, Ollie. Stealth the rest. Where's the boiler that? Can't be that one, it's got feckin' lava there. Okay. Let's see. Hugs are moving, okay, so that's good. That needs pressure. down something on the other side aha it is where does this open oh it lowers a Flipping lift? Hell yeah! Get whacked in the head by a uh, crank. Pull the crank. Don't think I've found all the plants. I'd best keep looking. Yeah, that looks like extra material there. Okay.
Oh, it's on a desk. I thought this was going to lead to something else. Battle scarf. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Logcock what we found. I've got a feeling Logcock's work like man rock in disguise or something. He's doing this to build our trust. Just to stab us in the back. I've, I've just got this weird feeling. Oh, we there must be a quicker way out of here than retracing our steps. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. I hate this minigame. You have level 3 a lot more, right? You should just be able to skip that. Move. Oh, moving portraits. Cool. And some galleons. It is galleons, isn't it? Their currency. So. Oh dear. Oh yeah, we've got a. Go do the scanny boy. Yeah, ooh. Have I upgraded any of this gear? Neck. Ah. That means a lot of the stuff's going to be worse than that. But I don't know what max level is here. We'll figure it out. I'd say it'd be about 50, maybe. 50, 60. Then you've got a fair few traits and this, that, and other, but for all I know, you could be able to get every single perk. Which, yeah, to be fair, would be nice, because that's how it should be. We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome uh, sight indeed. Oh, douchebags. <laughs> I swear this wasn't even a second ago. Oh look, the lift's coming down automatically or by itself there's no one there. It doesn't look a tiny bit sus. Wait. Wait a bloody second. That arrow's point where we just came from. Oh, it could be through here though. Yep, this is that lovely cave. This is gorgeous. Static type and stuff. I've got a feeling someone's gonna be waiting for us here. Can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. 
Okay. Without further ado, at you. Let's... You can't imagine how inconvenient. Rebellion. Get that crap out of it. It is text is just a list, so feel free to check it. Let's just do yep. On set but I'll have a quick check and check check. Oh, fuck the hell. Hey, Silvertail! Welcome, welcome! Sounds good to me. Marcus, sounds good. What is the space with you? <laughs> what if I'm uh, two weeks now? Oh. Yeah, about two weeks. How you doing, uh, Silvertail? Have a good stream. Thank you for the raid, by the way. Been chilling? Nice. What were you playing? They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I Phasmo. Boys. Other than Rookwood Castle, however... I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. You catch many ghosts? She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. Oh, this will be lost off. She looked up. I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. I think it was the reverse. I get killed. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. I think it died at least. <laughs> she was saying it was made of goblin metal. Uh, ghost catch silver tail. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research. And I know of the container. Ah. <sighs> The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it. I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, oh. transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Hmm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. Yeah, you clip your nails, Mud. Ranrock never found all of Bradbore's journals. 
but the ones he did find suggest that Bragmore at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. Uh oh. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Okay. You could just text me, but whatever. You know what's got me thinking? All of this stuff's happening. All of this chaos is going on. There's massive danger and peril to the students of Hogwarts. And Black's nowhere to be seen. Like, he's just vanished. I know, Professor. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Flint Witches as soon as you... It's about time this upgrade was available. I like how it's this track quest, but it's just going to cost me about 50 grand. But yeah, uh, the headmaster, Professor Black, oh, can't remember his first name now. I haven't seen him in so long. I think the last time we saw him was when um, he told Fig to hurry up and get doing something, whether he had to go to see the Ministry of Magic or something. Again, wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Be thrilled once I punch in the face and let, tell you how to pronounce your words, mate. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> This may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Rays is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Of course she is. Not ideal, really. What with rumours of Ramrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right. I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find a Melda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. Yeah, the weird thing is, right, we get told things by Owl. Why can't we tell others that we completed things by Owl? Let's see if there's any decent armor. Perhaps I could test out my new upgrade on the way. I was about you showed up. How about that? Get up here and get some new armor. Hopefully, possibly. The Ministry of Magic didn't get where you were headed. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Uh -huh. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever. Peaky. Get off my windowsill. Come on, you little shit. Is the door. Oh, I'm just set. The door must be shut.
Nice. That should keep me busy for a minute. Oh. But ah, I'm glad you had a good stream, Silter. Sorry, I know I felt like saying that. Oh. I didn't realize that door was open. Dog's begging for food, even though they've just been fed. Oh. To be fair, they are still settling in. Where can we skip? No, we're going to skip the... Right. So let's go to Hogwarts, secret room, room of point. Yeah, I will do stream up. Yes. Go and relax and stuff, bud. And the mask and the scarf are worse. Okay. That sucks. These are better. <laughs> what does my character look like? A duck. Apparently, oh no, there it is. No, that's a different one. Wish these little shits would settle down. What is not look like a scythe at all. Twix, it says that you can... I've got others like to make it look like something else, but never, it doesn't show you how to do that. What have we got? There's a limit as to headmistress. Map chamber. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say headmistress. Wait, what? This is the map chamber. What have we got here? We've got all of that done. Up. Room. Here we go. Just missing 
that one. Welcome back. Hello. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They built drills to help with their search. <sighs> Most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Okay. The next trial is fairly nearby. Oh, that's handy. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was a mistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. Yeah. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You yep. need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. How the hell am I going to get to his office? I always wondered if we could. Because I found the eagle. I gain access to the headmaster's office. Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Oh, good point. Let's see Mr. Fig. Not that that one. Oh. Paco, stop licking my toe, you freaking weirdo. Is that good? Yeah? Is that nice? Sweet potato wrapped in chicken. Freaking love it. I hope I... Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it. Despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Oh, we've got trial. It's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He Doubt is. it. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Uh. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the ministry on his behalf. Uh-oh. Time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. <laughs> I'm going to be Professor Black. This is going to suck. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. Uh. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope. You could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. 
thus far unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him we're to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. This is weird. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. And I've got to walk there. Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <coughs> now, to determine which student gets this rather... <coughs> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. I've never heard the Headmaster approaching. Come on! Yeah, I've got the Christmas decks up now. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Headmaster? Here, yeah. what could he want? You call that a shine on those boots? Do better! Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Well, maybe we get to deserve him as a headmaster. Yeah. Oh. Stand proud, pure bloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. Oh, I forgot he's a pure blood loyalist. Yeah. Wait. Why is it not being tracked? Uh, where's the second hole? Hey Badger, welcome back.
greetings. I mean, out of my way, children. That doesn't seem sus. Professor, a word, please. Uh. Hello, Professor Blanc. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you. You left way too early, eh? Thing. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean... No, I keep half an hour early. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... Well, I... Uh, thank you. But I'm happy to look in. Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Yeah, no one's a bit sus. I'll... A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. Oh, crap. Am I going to have to give a speech? Professor Fig's going to be waiting till Master sees what a wonderful job Scroke is doing. Scroke! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the passwords to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's pure blood forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh... I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master <laughs> knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pure. Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this Not conversation much. with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. <laughs> he burped. The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I'd best get out of sight. I'm gonna bump into teachers. Hello, Ron, you prick. Yeah, you haven't missed much, honestly. <clears throat> We've just been messing about as the headmaster. Trying to get a password. It's wearing off. That's not Dobby, that's Scrope. believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Zerf four. Now the polyjuice potion wore off. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. You two may hog me and we will devise a plan. Now I need to get this freaking thing done. Creature. Oh creature, yeah. Creature's a funny one. Proper like Saki and Hey Ruby! Pardon me. Uh, oh, wow, I can't. Have I actually got to wait for a quest to be able to go up in there?
Yeah. Yeah, Chris is proper, like, sassy, full of sarcasm and back chats and all sorts. Fucking awesome. Why is it flat now? Well, looks like we've got Hogsmeade. Oh. Never mind, we're going to do the trial. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Although the goblins and Gringotts are kind of rude, too. I mean, yeah, but, like, they got enslaved to look after the bank. <laughs> uh, I think. Some, something weird. Right, where is this? Come on. Stupid suit of armor. Oh, shit. Oh. Never understood this corridor. It's like they literally made a hallway to weave through parts of the map that were already taken. Imagine being an Animagus. That sees one. She can turn into a gazelle. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. Whoop, 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 whoop. Unless you're an animal form as a shrimp. <laughs> uh, you could tease so many people that catch you and you just transform back and just be like, yeah. It's good to see you. Oh, Hello. Well. Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Yeah. Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Uh, uh, okay. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. All right. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Beautiful boils, wonderful. He's cup of tea. Oh, there's a sort of hat, look. Rebellion. Ooh. Ah. Hello. Hello. Let's see. Laura. Would you rather be a turtle or a snake? Turtle? Hell yeah. Snake can eat anything, but it's like got a like unhinged jaw and then go bleh, swallow things, and it's got it's like that for like twenty minutes while it's inhaling food. Not that I'll just eat the seagrass, me. Jump, jump, and I'm happy. Why tell tells a badass, bro? Have you seen them motherfuckers just swim? It is just gone. Even, well, portoises as well, they're faster, but still. That was a pretty cool. Not that way. That's just a cup of tea. Wow, they didn't give this much room, did they? At all. The film, this is a whole feckin' room. That must be the pedestal. No shit, Sherlock. Of course that's the pedestal. Rebellion. Looks like we've got everything apart from the door. Imagine arthritis. There was no. Imagine the arthritis of an, and an old snake. Yeesh. That would suck. What you doing, Ruby? Probably lurking because she's busy. Where am I? Duff. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Eve. 
You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. Uh, I think I've seen bits of Fantastic Beasts. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Ironically, we were just talking about you, you big shit. <laughs> Shoot magic, so I can't get back that way. Um, okay, they go, they go into the guinea a little bit in the second one. Voldemort snake. Oh, because she's in the circus, is, is she not? She's an Animagus, but the more she transforms into the snake, the more permanent it seems to be. And then she, eventually she runs out, and then she's just Nagini full straight on. Which, honestly, I thought was a pretty shit story. TikTok keeps saying you've got a life, but you don't see it. So, like, YouTube was saying I had 15, 16 comments on a video, but there's all there. Oh. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. I right, chill out. They're gone. And now I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? I need to time this just right. The guinea was uh, Meldictus. She was cursed to turn into a snake. Ah, that sucks. That blows. I see. The staircase straight ahead. I, I never did like the story about it. I don't know. I, I think they left out a lot of stuff and they got really fucking lazy with it. Yo, you big bitch, get out my way! Show me a screenshot. Been a Harry Potter fan since you were 11. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it does say you got life. That's weird. I like the Harry Potter world, but there's a lot of, they tell you bits and pieces about things, but you never get the full story, because obviously it's based on Harry and this, that, and that, I get that, but like, a ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I don't know, there. I think if they went into Tom Riddle's background and like did a full check on him like they did with Harry, that would be pretty cool, I'd be down for that. 
I'd watch it and whatnot. Been carefully active, they changed for Grindelwald. Grindelwald, Grindelwald, Grindelwald. That's a goblin, right? I can't, I can't remember. Being honest with you. Actually around 8 or 9 because I remember my third grade teacher reading it to us and that's how I fell in love with it. It's a fantastic world. I just wish there was more detail and more oomph and like... That's why I like games like this because it gives you backstory. It gives you more depth to it. It's... Pretty dang sweet. I best move while I can. The news must be here somewhere. But yeah, I would love... Like... A film all about how Tom Riddle came to be Voldemort. Like, none of this, like, flashback for five seconds bullshit type stuff. Like, a proper, proper story. I think that'd be great. No, the books are pretty detailed. I need to get them again, actually. I lost them when I moved, um, I left my ex. I lost pretty much everything to be fair. But, Actual powerful wizard without the elder wand, but he did possess the wand during the movie. In the world. It's the name rings a bell, but Saul's coming. Oh. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Deal with them here. In the world. And run, boy! That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. <laughs> you mother... I didn't even see him. <clears throat> yeah. No, I have a whore for details and stuff. Like, I've... In a book, it's great, though, because as the details been like, as you're reading about the details, you can actually physically, well, mentally picture it type of thing. But in the films, obviously, because they want to do, like, 600 things at once. Oh, shit. Weird. Um, and there's that much on screen. You can only absorb so much of that information, right? But yeah, I'd, I'd love more, more films and more things to get more information about the world. <laughs> I must cross this road as fast as I can. Uh, I got a snippet of whole Grindelwald is in Discord. I will check it after the stream because I know the audio will come through. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Um, oh, he's walking, he's walking, he's walking. Oh, he's walking too. Okay, so it lets me run back there, but I can't run here? What the hell? Oh, I beg good. What did you win? Nah, he's off his contact lenses. Probably stuck to a tree like Sauron. Getting past them that way. Not getting past them that way either. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Yeah, it did indeed. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. The only way is up. I skip the dialogue, it's boring. Then I ask what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> I do that on some games as well. I'm like Oh, this is just a hack and slash game, right? I can just go and rip everything to Pete. Wait, why is it not letting me do it? <laughs> Get out my car, you son bitch. I'm behind the wall. You. Oh. Only reason I didn't skip dialogue in this game is because I streamed it. Oh, you streamed this as well? Ah. No way but forward, I suppose. 
That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Ah. Oh. Right, up the stairs. Need to watch what these was do, but apparently they can see me through walls. Yes, holes. Ah. Oh, guys, off. Now's my chance. I hate it when games take your controls away. It's like, what the is the point? That is going to be her, I believe. Oh, there's the cloak. The there's the cloak. Me. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. No shit, Sherlock boy. Uh, do, do. Oh, that way. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Like, I think I took. <laughs> just me. I think they're just trying to get me to open the. Probably. That or someone's liked it, then ooh, unliked it really quickly. You get trolls like that. Right, so I've got to get. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I've got to literally walk through these dudes. What's that, motherfuckers? I can get closer to them. Just give me my sandwich. No, you haven't got one? Oh, damn it. To try to steal his sandwich. It's been some time since I've played COD. I haven't played COD since it was the Call of Duty's, but they had, they had the Exo suits on. That was the last one I played, and I, I know life didn't. I was like leveling up snipers, and that was literally it. I was getting pretty good with them, but it's. <sighs> The COD community is honestly the most toxic, hating, racist group I've ever met. Don't get me wrong, there's probably a fair few good people in there, but there is so many douchebags, it's unreal. Main reason I stopped playing it, that and the cheaters. Instead of getting good, the freaking just download a program to do things for them. She's right there, she's invisible. Infinite Warfare, is that the one? I like that one, because the maps were pretty good. You have Probably not being friends with me then. I was one of those toxic fuckers back in 2009, 2012. Damn. Unable to hide. Wield the ones you see before you. I was talking more trash to my own team than my enemies. <laughs> that sounds like something I would do. I'd just be like taking the... Well, I wouldn't be trash talking. I'd just be taking the piss out of them. Here's the Elder Wand. Start with the freaking high pitch shit game. God damn. Just telling your teammates the meanest shit. Damn. I was kind of reading Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I don't think I got toxic. I got pretty annoying because I would just be like proper taking the piss out of people. Like, if they shot someone but like didn't hit the target, I'd be like, yo, we need to go back to the firing range. Stuff like that. But it was never, never a complete dick, I suppose. Oh, that felt good. Back in a sec.
Ah, sorry about that. Fucking hell. Postman's a dickhead. I open the door because he's got a parcel from my sister, right? So I open it. I'm going, by the way, have you got any posts for next door? They're away on holiday and I'm the one looking after the house. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> so he goes to post it. He can't because they've got their letterbox screwed shut because the dogs ripped the stuff apart. And he can't put it in the lockbox because it's too big. I says, I've got the keys. Yeah, I don't believe it. So I open the lockbox to prove him. That doesn't mean anything. Fucking idiot. <sighs> Right, let's catch up on chat. I was good enough to go 56 kills in a game in a team death match. So if I go 56 and 7, I would still lose. Yeah, I'm going to say some mean shit. Yeah, damn right. End up getting really decent with snipers at long range. People don't like that. But I remember that clip where you nailed someone from like a hell of a distance. He was up in a crane and he just blew his head off. That was pretty good. Uh, I was great at quick scope, and people hated that more when you started using the cyber. <laughs> yes, people used to hate being quick scoped. Played the new Modern Warfare remake and was hitting 500 meter shots with a thermal and switched to a normal scope after a while. Tons of fun in Ground War. I don't think I've played Ground War. I hate ground war. Basically, anything but team deathmatch was my was kind of trash in my opinion. Having to rely on teammates to get an objective done wasn't happening. They can they can't do dick. Yeah, that's why I ended up doing long range stuff. Didn't need anyone help me or anything, and it was sneaky. Yeah, that that one was on your clips. Oh, Grindel War. He's the yeah. He was the big bad. I was thinking. Uh, Harry Harry Potter, not the uh, Fantastic Beast splashback dude. But like I say, I only ever saw bits and pieces of that. I may have posted that on TikTok too. <laughs> Maybe. Right, so we've got the wand and the cloak. We need the stone, I guess, next. But why is she showing us? He's back! Oh, come on! Eat it! Didn't even cast the right spell or the right person, but whatever. God, I love Bombarda. Awesome spell. That one and the slicey dicey one. We know the fight. I hit the space bar, I was way too late. Tago's not working here either. Never did. Must have been too late on him. Hey! Don't bite my butt! Hit the right button. Latin. Oh, I got a jewel on feast somehow. Not as how. 
Uh, you gotta watch those movies. They're pretty good. I had to order part for the cut. Sorry, I just thought you had to order a part for a car. <laughs> that was in the movie there for a second. I'm like, wait, what? Revelio. Yeah, there's no loot. Piece that holds all the switches on the passenger side. Oh, that's that's annoying. So all all the switches just loose. Oh, I can still do my dodge. So it's gonna be a big battle here. Uh Well, this isn't looking good, is it? Let me do my spell there for a second. He did not like that rock going back on him, did he? just basically helped him whack me there. That was an idiotic move. I need 10 more dueling feats for the next unlock. You're, you're kidding me, right? All these trolls? I've only got four spells as well. Oh, I pushed flipping E instead. I'm holding it. There we go. Ow! You big lump. I want to tar target the ghost wolf. I've got five minutes to get another thing. This isn't going to work. Mongrel. I'm sorry, does does freaking go left mean nothing in this game? Fucking dog. Okay. 
Okay. Hey, Kuriko. Going to check that notification. I'll be back in a little. No, by the way. Apparently, it cost me $15, so it's not too bad. Oh, it's not too bad at all. My death decided to leave. Oh, no. The magic power always disappears after a battle because it never lets you pick it up. Kind of annoying in a way. Alright, is this going to be the stone? And yeah, you got to make me walk slow as hell. There we go. It's a trial. Like a memory thing. I want to take coffee, but I don't know how to stand. This must be for me. Oh, this is the thing we found. That's a resurrection stone. Ooh, it's not bad. It's. Hmm. Okay, the plot thickens. The stone is the resurrection stone that we found. Through the mourners ahead, nothing is what it seems. I can't even look at it in the inventory. Okay, but yeah, that stone that you saw us pick up—that's what we found in that tomb. He's gone. Oh, poor Neve, gone so young. Wait, what, Neve? to us forever. Oh. He came back with the stone, didn't she? And that's what we've got to use now is to bring her back. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Big statue. Pretty cool looking statue too. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Have a memory in it, isn't it? Remember that as you witness my memory. Are you holding the stone? Where's that to you? Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, Neve, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Uh oh. What are you doing? Yeah, she's the big bad. Breathe it in. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, it's a door. This must stop. All of it. You 
you've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Yeah. Well, shit. <laughs> I the jack o lantern head on for a second there. Oh. Okay. Quite a few questions. Rebellion. Oh, we're in the map chamber. Okay. Do the rough keeper. In this paint here. There he is. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. How did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. Ugh. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. In other words, do more shit, no then come back. To wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bacar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganac? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gox soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Dickhead. Right. Now I've got to go out and do a billion more things. A oh, four, okay. Uh. We'll get here and it'll probably tell me what my next quest is. The Ruby Chinese Fireball Scar. Seriously, whatever you've got to say, you can wait. Okay. 
How the feck do I get down there? Maybe this is how I actually get down here to unlock this new area. Hmm. He's eating uh, them beans, ones that can be really nice and really disgust yeah, disgusting. Up and at him. See if I can get to here and then we'll see where the uh where the yellow line takes us. I'm probably gonna have to clear out this camp again. Yep. Oh, this day's gone on too long. Why is it how nice of you stop by? Good bring them. Oh, it's honest to have my own spells back. Did not care for that. Not even that did pretty much not. Ow. Where's the other one? Wrong button. Uh, excuse me? What the feck? in time god damn troll bogies six of them apparently Yeah. 
Problem. Back off. I'm busy. Will you back off? Jesus Christ, man. Goblins are annoying as shit. I was cursed. And I just go run. Oh, come on. One minute you can't run over a rock. Next minute you can run over a fucking mound of dirt. He literally slides to you to hit you. That is some bullshit. Bastion. Oh. Nice. It was a like on a comment I left. It was a video of a chick saying she didn't like the sound of styrofoam. When it makes when you rub it together, and I was like, I don't like the sound of scissors being used to curl ribbon or knives being sharpened. Ah, oh, the <laughs> noise. Blech. Thanks for the biddies, Badger. Run <sighs> out coffee. Them trolls are so annoying. Oh. Bears. Where is everybody? Just happened there, you had half health left. What is going on? You had half a bar of health left and then just died. I didn't even get the uh control of knives to kick his ass more. Weird. Just type now curl and ribbon makes my skin crawl. <laughs> I don't like curling ribbon. Uh, noises I don't like is when you someone's cutting something on a plate, and then you freaking the knife scrapes across the ceramic. Ah, that's a horrible noise. Ah, oh, we gotta go through the mine. Pretty sure this door was shut last time. It's probably why I couldn't find it. Yeah, that one sucks too. Yep. Yeah.
This auto aiming shit is really starting to piss me off. Half my attacks miss or don't even go to the right person. But yet they can auto aim, hit me from 20 feet away. Well, probably 10, but still, it's annoying. And harvest this moon stuff. Put down a ways. Strike. Here we are. Oh, yeah, sod the stealth route. Loud and proud, motherfucker. Loud and proud. Oh, that's why I couldn't find this one. It's inside here. Let's have a look see doodle. Once the rocks despawn. Did I tell you I had to reset my beard growth from scratch? Ha! <laughs> How come? I mean, I did. Mine's down here. Mine doesn't really grow. It just bunches up. So I was just like, nope. Give it all off. It, I'm actually way past Jewish shape, to be fair. How come you had to redo it from scratch? What happened? Someone, did you might come at you with a pair of scissors or something? All that just for that box. Rebellion. Confringo. I was trying to trim it myself as sure. Oh dear. Nah, I stopped bothering and let mine grow out and whatnot. I was just like, yeah, back it. How the hell am I supposed to get to this bag? Rebellion. Right there. How do I get to it? How do I get it? Oh, that's so lame. There's a bag of goodies right there, but you can't get to it. That's mean, that is. Bye bye. Did he survive? I was gonna say that's a big drop down there. I'm gonna let it grow and go to the tune up haircut and place to give me. Yeah, I always does over here. Every time you go and get a cut, you get a you get a bottle of beer. Just sit and chill with them. Ogbert the Odd. I will make cases. Why the grapple you are? Bombarda. 
See? Do you see that? That's bullshit. My spells bounce off of you, do they? Mm, that's funny, that one didn't. Visit Hoyle Stender Coast. Yeah. I got some goodies. That chest face in the wrong way. Just make note of something like that. Is there any resistance system for the monsters in this game? Uh, yeah, the fish bags are basically, it's all the goblins, essentially. Well, not all of all the goblins, there's a few that actually, you know, don't give up. But. How nice to see you here. Ah. Rebellion. Oh, there. Means I can fly over there now. This one that was the chest. This is my big power, okay. It's another... I could have sworn there was... Like, you know, just a past two. Three. There it is. Here's some more. Incendio. Incendio. These idiots fight. Petringo. Rookwood, don't go down easy. Incendio. Oh, very okay. And there's a troll there. <clears throat> I'm gonna go, my phone is trying to die and I'm gonna charge it. I'll be in chat later if we've got time to hang out. Don't bother, dude. Catch you in a bit, mate. One's over here. Get my 
my hands on things. That one's going to be inside the cave area. <laughs> Nothing pleasant about this coast. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh. Either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. Shut the fuck up, Sebastian, you stupid dickhead. I do care about Anne, but I'm tired of explaining myself. Perhaps we should part ways. That's... that's not what I meant. I... We're just not getting answers. I no shit, answers. dickhead. For Anne. I know. Now, should we see why the triptych led us here? Let's go, quickly, before we're spotted. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard right. local hamlet valuables. But it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Okay. Oh, that way. Back in a sec.
Right. Hell, he went airborne. But this is cool. These moon rocks. That was the sword that was going to let me pick up there for a second. Thestrals overhead. Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. Trek up this mountain in silence. Accio. Damn it. Right, little puzzle done. Sons of Bark made everything. What are you doing Sons of Bark and stuff for? Eh? What are you barking at? There's no one here, it's just me. Me? Yeah. Oh, get good boys and lie down. Hey, up in the bed. There's like a foggy shimmer stuff here. Right. I bet the Thestral nest is close by. Akio. Oh, wrong one. Good for you. There we go. Ooh, good Merlin's prowl here. I'm sorry yep. we can both see Thestrals. Certainly not something I'd hope we'd have in common. Yeah, that does suck. Means you've been close to death. Kill any who trespass. Wait, 
We should have some sort of plan. I'm through planning. Not all of the sentinel was bombarded while they charged their magic. Charges magic, I need the bloody thing. There it was, I missed it. Why did not hit? He's really going the bad route, isn't he? What were you thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed, but I didn't. Looks like Branrock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Rebellion. Yes, there it is. Random to climb on the table. Why not? <clears throat> Rebellion. Come on, there we go. Confringo. Right, now what does this power up? Is there any tubes, pipes? Right, it wants me to go up there. <clears throat> or is that just there for decoration? Oh, no, these are the mushroom things. Okie dokie. Yeah, boy. I think the best stuff I got was the stuff I bought. Hmm. Oh well. Just 
me to get more money. I'll just sell it. I don't think I'm getting any better stuff than that. I'll check after the mission. Ramrock's gonna make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. I was under that for too long, just in case, you know. Get flipping wily coyote. There's someone there. I'm just flipping. An enemy with a Galactus Blast. Glacius Blast. I did. See? Damn it. He was going to get hit with the splash damage of that one. Strange. <clears throat> oh well. Do -do -do -do. Go. Good for you. Lumos, Lumos. Legal breed, no bastard. This, we found something about this before. It was in the new, like in a newspaper. Oh, didn't work out for him. Poor guy. Lumos, Lumos, Lumos. I had two of them levitated at once. You can't stop us. I just hit him and wait, I'm confused. suddenly so cautious listen to me I know you're angry and frustrated 
but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord God said, Oh, your goblin friend. Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing. To find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me, or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. Probably going to be a location. Oh. Slice my nose. Um, it's going to be a location that leads to her, like, uh, the big bad lady's base, like, main base of operations or something. He was even money lying around, man. Right. What's up this pathway? Treasure vault. I don't see it worth going up there right now. Rebellion. Anything we've missed. That's got a wigan well potion in us. We can't loot that. And I think this one's a wigan well potion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, five galleons. Oh well. Do, 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 do. So far, so good. Charming. A little bit of little place. Spiders. How fitting. Oh, that's a scoria. It said an airborne ambusher, but there isn't an airborne ambush at an ambusher there. It was a scurrier. Where's the ambusher?
two seconds on the... We did just fight... Hmm. No, there's one left. I bet it's the flipping ambusher. Yeah, at least, at least we got that dueling feet. <clears throat> Didn't even notice it on the minimap, to be fair. There'll be a lot of spider fangs in here. All of these goblins got took out. I'm guessing uh, Runrock decided just to force as many goblins and whatnot in here until they got through. A battle of attrition style. These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin. Yeah, possibly. XP though. I don't even think we've leveled, to be fair. Level 35 max. Oh, tease the wrong button. I know we're 36. Okay. Nothing good yet. What's it got to be? 94. <laughs> That's kind of cool. You can curse a bunch of enemies and then use the Vatican to kill everything. Wipe everything out. An enemy under, under your control with Imperial causes other targets to curses other targets. Oh, that could be useful. Cursed effect remains on an enemy for. End of curses, boom, deal and damage to curse targets and flex. Oh, yes. And then we'll get this one. Oh, yeah, about the guy with the chicken. Didn't even see anything in Timid. We got a letter from the Ministry of Magic? Yeah, it's one we found. A staircase leading here. Whatever for? I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Confringo! Look at this place. Not Reckon. really my style. A bit much, if you ask me. And cool looking, huh?
Mom and Goldie dead. Ah, uh, there's one up there. That the spider I was looking at, but okay. Give me the shiny. There you go. We've seen rune symbols like these before. Mm-hmm. There's one there. One there. There's normally three. Rebellion. Oh. Duh. Not wrong spell, never mind, the little ones have gone. It's given us potions, so there's going to be a big fight. Oh, it's a goddamn troll. <clears throat> that was unneeded. I was waiting for a brick to just go bonk. Let me get my feet, you prick. That spider was on fire, and I hit it, and it still didn't count.
And again, for fuck's sake, the targeting system of this game is utter shit. somewhere because the shots are going towards it. Wow, even taking more damage and it still only did that much? No, wrong spell. I wouldn't have gotten close to us and a friend, but whatever. I thought the floor keeps. I don't know what this bit of the floor here was. It just part of the wall that crumbled. Certainly made a mess of things. Debris everywhere. Confringo. Ooh. Thank you. I was just thinking there was a light source. That that lady says not everything as as not everything is as it seems. Uh Yeah, we're not getting up that way, are we, bud? The steep? Yeah, it's pretty steep. Okay. Akio. It's targeting it. And he was just in here. Yeah, because that, that troll had the leathering skills, did he? Let's see. Ooh. Fucking idiot. I think there's a path up there. Yeah, there is. That was a piece of work. More than one. Tada! Rebellion. This troll was a pain in the ass. Those are the shinies. <laughs> we couldn't jump high enough to reach that ledge if we tried. Did you find something? A journal entry. Isadora was here. Accio! Indadium Leviosa! Huh. 
So I wonder, depending on what your options are and your actions are, if you become a good wizard or a dark, like a wizard for good or a wizard for bad. I'm out of breath after all of those stairs, but the view, well worth it. Good for you. Come on! Oh, I was expecting to like them two and this to open up. <laughs> Interesting set of armor. Another barrier. We can blast through it, I'm certain. Good news? This journal entry sounds worrisome. This must be another oh. floor above us. Almost as good as if I'd done it myself. You're right. You gonna do a spinny spin? Yeah, boy. This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. Another rune symbol. Feel as if I should be fluent in runic language by now. Good for you. Slow there for a second. Could this be another area Isadora created? Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. Yeah, of course you wanted to heal the world, Isadora. You power freak. I know like from the memories cracker. I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. Another ancient magic passageway to the Undercroft. The final piece of the triptych must be here. The final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all these <coughs> secrets. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Perhaps completing the triptych will shed more light on all of this. masks I swear half the stuff I'm picking up is just for like aesthetic marks on the floor and everything that would take a hell of a long time to get back to the undercroft right like I cannot believe the journey wow. this triptych took us on Why is... This is it. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. Huh. No 
another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. I wonder... What is it? Let's find out. Bring my brother back, Father. But I can give you peace. Please have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Yeah, we've seen this before. What does this come up from her point of view, right? Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. Why was it? Oh, right, this bit's new. Oh, out. It did indeed. Of course it did. Goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but. If used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this unnerves them. Oh, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. Someone will. I wonder if... She took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home of Felgroth, the destroyed painting, it was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes, yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. <laughs> I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain, it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please. Talk to the keepers. If not for me, then, then for Anne. Is 
That's why she can't appear in that portrait because her house why was did destroyed. Why want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? We're all bad guys. Wow. Okay. Let's go see D. He got in that room anyway. What he was talking about. That was the Phoenix Rising that we're going to do. Main bit. Actually, what time is it? Oh. Never mind. Time to wrap up. Wow. Oh. There we go. Rodrock's talking now. Everyone, I'm going to wrap it up here for today. Back tomorrow with Conan. I totally forgot what time it was. I need to go to feed the you know who's. But uh, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. <laughs> and yeah, I shall catch you tomorrow. So, with that said and done, please stay safe, stay awesome, kick it in the ass, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.